catch up. The show where we catch you up on what the heck is happening. In case you missed it, we flew right past August 13th, which was the day that QAnon followers believed Donald Trump would be reinstated as president. But for the first time, we had a blessed Friday the 13th. But yet Trump refuses to let things go. He even sent out this big press release asking, do you miss me yet in all caps? You know, the beauty of breaking up with someone is you usually get to delete their number after. But despite Trump not being magically transported back into the White House, the QAnon supporters are still going wild. Recently, Facebook had to ban 300 accounts for claiming that the COVID-19 vaccine turns humans into chimpanzees. Sort of a weird line for Facebook to draw after lending a large hand in the election of a chimpanzee in the 2016 presidential election. And Texans have been caught buying and selling fake COVID-19 vaccination cards. Well, after all, I guess Trump did make one sector of the economy boom. I'm Maria Schwarz. And I'm Brooke Reese. Now let's catch you up on the news. Scientists have stated that sewage is the latest detection tool to finding the COVID-19 disease, much to the displeasure of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was recently announced that July was the hottest month in recorded human history. Guys, this is not what we meant by having a hot girl summer. Pepsi and Boston Beer are teaming up to make the first alcoholic version of Mountain Dew. For legal reasons, the drink's label must include a Surgeon General's warning, as well as a picture of your grandmother with a disapproving look on her face. A woman was using the laser on her gun to play with her cat when she accidentally ended up shooting her friend. I mean, personally, I'm completely on her side. I don't know where I'd be without playing fetch with my dog's favorite hand grenade. I mean, I've only heard it click like a few times. A South Carolina man stole a horse before hiding it in a bedroom. Apparently he was trying to do a whole godfather thing, but he forgot a key element. A fish with human-like teeth is causing absolute mayhem on the internet. Rumor has it Spielberg has already been inspired to create a sequel to Jaws. Jaws 2, a trip to the TMJ specialist. A U.S. study found that children born during the COVID-19 pandemic have lower IQ scores. The fact that they were just born also might play a factor. Scientists are researching a phenomenon called childhood amnesia, in which we can't remember any of our early childhood memories. I just wish this extended to middle school. President Biden has been struggling to find a permanent FDA chief. No one's had this much trouble since trying to fill the Defense Against the Dark Arts position. Russia's space program threw a NASA astronaut under the bus after claiming that she damaged very expensive equipment. Personally, I am just glad that they didn't choose to throw her under the rocket. The bus seems like a much safer choice. A North Carolina town was accused of hiding discriminatory billing after burying thousands of records in a field. In other news, a North Carolina town has never heard of fire or a shredder. A judge has ruled that Joe Biden's eviction moratorium can remain in place. Unaware of what the eviction moratorium actually means, Biden was thrilled to hear that he was not going to be kicked out of the White House, but did have to delete several awkward texts to Obama asking if he could couch surf in his basement. Reportedly, piranhas and pink dolphins lure visitors to the remote Lake Terrapoto. The sirens also have to take some credit. A man attempted to rob a bank in England, but it went awry after no one could read the handwriting in his threatening note. I guess we now know why serial killers and stalkers prefer to communicate in cut-up magazine letters. Communication's really key. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in two weeks unless we decide to pull in OnlyFans and quit comedy. And a bit of personal news, if you guys didn't know, I do have two boy bunnies. Their names are Bagel and Parsley, and they are getting neutered on Tuesday. So everyone wish them good luck. They're a little bit nervous, um, but just wanted to share, you know, when I was updating my parents, the grandparents, um, you know, mom's all nervous. And then my dad was like, are you going to ask the vet if you can keep the balls? <laughs> And then I was like, of course, I hear they're even luckier than the feet.